Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to connect Adobe Media Encoder to After Effects. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to locate the folder of Adobe Media Encoder. So I'm going to open the File Explorer. I'm going to open C. And then from here, I'm going to click Program Files. I'm also going to click Adobe. All right, so this is my Adobe Media Encoder. So basically what I'm going to do is just copy this one. There you go. And then I'm going to open a notepad. All right, so the notepad is going to be like this, MK link J, all right, something like that. And then I'm going to add the name of the folder. So again, this is the folder name. And then next thing that we're going to do is we're going to open the folder. All right, here you go. I'm going to open this one. And then I'm just going to copy this one. I'm going to put it here. There you go. Now you might be thinking that they are the same, but they are actually not the same. So if you can see here, the folder name has here CC 2020, while the file itself doesn't have CC 2020. All right, now once we have this one, we're just going to copy it. We're going to open our CMD. We're going to run it as administrator. Okay, here we are. I'm just going to paste the link here. I'm going to hit enter. All right, junction created. Congratulations, that is success. Now we're going to try this out okay now we are here in our adobe after effects we're just going to try and export it we're going to click file we're going to click export and we have here add to adobe media encoder queue we're going to click this one okay our adobe media encoder is now opening okay there you go so now it has appeared here and you can see that it is ready so i'm just going to click this one okay you can see that it is a success and then if we can see here for the render, I've used an OpenCL. I tried Coda earlier, but it doesn't work for me. I'm not sure in your case. So I'm just going to suggest that you are going to try it. And yeah, congratulations. That's how you're going to connect Adobe Media Encoder to After Effects.